area you will be not getting access to road so there you might not get access of steel you might not get access of cement but you will be having bricks if you want to construct your house only by masonry that is brick how to make your building to earthquake resistant even the masonry structure without beam column you can make your building to earthquake resistant performance of unreinforced masonry walls this is a typical example of a masonry structure you will be having a foundation this is a stiff element assume that this is a stiff element and this is called floor level after floor bricks you will be having openings the walls if the wall is filled you don't have any opening it is much stronger if you are using any wall opening here what happens if more openings are there there is a possibility of cracks which could occur during an earthquake so this is lintel band this is essential requirements to ensure box action there is a concept called box action what is box is you can you can see a parcel box you will be having six sides so four sides and bottom and top this is a box so if you are using this box action in masonry and after that you should have a lintel band what do you mean by lintel band is lintel concrete this is called lintel band throughout the length you have this lintel band and all the sides you should have and roof you will be making with concrete or by using roof tiles how to make a good performance of a masonry building is you should approach with structural configuration what do you mean by configuration is your building should not have irregular shapes even though you are constructing by a brick it should be in a box shape if you are constructing a masonry structure make sure that it is square or rectangle this is the best way of configuration what do you mean by configuration is constructing the sizes okay the overall shape and size of the building and distribution of mass lateral load resisting element what do you mean by configuration is this two shape and size is one part and distribution of mass is second part it is a strategy used in making them earthquake resistant by good box action between all the elements of building between roof walls and foundation you are connecting these three elements roof walls and foundation how you connect let us see one by one loosely connected roof threaten to good seismic behavior so you will be using lintel level ties this one part the walls together as a single unit lintel level ties makes your structure into a single unit how to make a box type action your building plan shapes that are l t e and y this kind of shape will separate into almost simple rectangular blocks what you can do is you can split this two shape l shape into two rectangle one is plan and another one is width so you can separate this into two elements so like that you have to do t shape also you can separate this web as well as the flange separate the t element do not merge this give some spacing the adequate gap is necessary between the different blocks of building so which is given in national building code pwd guidelines you have what should be spacing between two adjacent building and also from the building to the road what should be the gap left the road part will be encroached by the people the pwd has given particular distance to leave some gap for either for road or as well as the two construction the indian standard suggest minimum seismic separation between blocks of building if horizontal projection of buildings are small say up to 20 percentage of length of building in that direction at least 15 to 20 percentage of the separation 
gap should be there if you are having a total height of 10 meter what is 20 percentage of 10 2 meter so if you are constructing another block it should be 2 meter apart if one building is 10 meter 10 into 0.15 is 1.5 you provide 1.5 meter and you separate this is one way of separation horizontal bands these bands are provided at three areas one is at plinth level and another one is at lintel level third is at roof level this makes a building into a single unit all the walls together and are similar to closed belt provided around cardboard boxes there are four types of bands in masonry namely gable band this is provided for gable roof gable roof you would have heard it is a tapered roof slope will be there at both the sides if you have those kind of roofs you can use gable band roof band is generally a flat slope if you are not having any slope for a flat building you will be using roof band lintel band and plinth band if you are using a slope roof you will be using gable band majorly you have three types of band at plinth level where your construction starts lintel band is most important in these three gable band is employed only in buildings with pitched or sloped roof in buildings with flat reinforced or reinforced roof roof band is not required because roof slab also plays the role of roof band by this picture you can understand the three different types of bands one is sink band this is at the floor level indicated by a brown color it connects the building in bottom of the structure and second band is floor wall when it is connected at the floor level this is one floor level first floor and second floor you can see at floor level you have one band the second one and at lintel where you will be having lintel beam it is connected with the outer side of the building completely connected with the lintel beam you have walls here and this is called gable band if you are using gabled roof this is a flat roof if you are using gabled one you can see there is a connection in triangle this is a triangular connection this kind of connection has to be made here you have the complete connection at the roof it has to extend this is called roof in a flat roof you will be having one length band and this is called lintel band these three types of band are required to create a box action this band also reduces unsupported height of walls and thereby improving the stability what do you mean by unsupported length is if you don't have this band what will happen the wall will be having a height of total say 3 meter this is 1 meter imagine you have a total height of wall will be 2 plus 1 is 3 when you provide this kind of band what happens the wall is being divided into two so at top you have a small wall at bottom you have another wall so two walls is being distributed here so the total height of the wall will be two meter and this one will be one meter so you are reducing the height what happens if you reduce height you will reduce the seismic force to a building masonry above lintel and masonry below lintel now you see during 1993 latour earthquake in module 1 i have discussed list of past earthquake happened in india and you can observe here these are the two buildings which is constructed nearby you can see a building which is having a lintel band window here and doors which are connected by lintel band this walls are not being collapsed during the earthquake but you can see a building here which consists of a gabled roof and 
during and after the earthquake you can see the total wall has been demolished here these are the sites where you can see walls are demolished so this is the importance of buildings with no horizontal lintel band and buildings with lintel band this is a kilari village this is purely constructed by using brick masonry a guideline which is given on what amount of reinforcement is required and what dimensions are required minimum to satisfy this band action okay when an earthquake is occurring the lintel band undergoes bending and pulling action by this picture you can understand much this is a building during the horizontal force this is the direction of force you have a push and pull action this building goes to and fro to and fro this is the direction of earthquake shaking what happens there is a bending as well as lateral movement so by with respect to the ground you have this bending imagine you have a cantilever structure which is fixed at one side and free at the other during the movement it creates a bending force a cantilever beam kind of an effect which is been occurring in this flint band so how to provide this kind of lintel is if you are providing small lintels you have to at least use 75 mm of thickness of concrete 75 mm is 7.5 cm at least two rods is required for small kind of load if the load is large and the structure height is also large 150 mm of height is required for this lintel and currently they have provided here 150 mm four number of bars required with these stirrups so this is for bending and pulling of lintel band so due to this push and pull also taking the bending this is capable of resisting these two forces and if you are not using reinforcement and you are constructing for gabled structure then you have to introduce wooden spacers what is wooden spacer is this is a timber which is connected in this manner you should at least have two numbers in a direction this is longitudinal and transverse direction this runner should go in both the directions and it has to be nailed at equal spacing if you are using steel links note that how the detailing is provided the rod which is coming at one side which is connected to the other side this rod should go to the top and this rod should this bottom rod should go to this top so you can see this steel bar this is the correct practice this is incorrect practice you should not project this bar and you should not take at the bottom how it should connected the rod should go to the top and it should connect you can observe here this bottom rod should go to top and it it should end here the same way this rod should go to the top and it should be connected so this kind of connection should be avoided if you are using reinforcement you can use this correct practice and if you are using the wooden members you can use this for correct practice this is what is given here during the shaking lintel band undergoes bending and pulling action these two kind of action to resist this you can include bamboo splits bamboos are another material which can be used is a natural material used as a reinforcement so you can use bamboo splits many of the tribal people and the access is not available to urban area they will be using this bamboo while construction of forest houses they will be using bamboos fiber mud the mud can be red sand or clay they will be using these three materials 
So bamboo is one of the reinforced material which you can use as a band or reinforced concrete. The RC band are the best. When you compare bamboo and RC reinforcement, RC reinforcement, reinforced cement concrete is the best. Length of the band must be properly connected at wall corners. This is what I said. The outer rod should connect with the inner rods the way I have shown you in the figure. This allows the band to support wall in the weaker direction by the wall. What do you mean by weaker direction is in your class you can see four walls which are there. Note that two walls doesn't have any opening. You can see this is a solid wall which can resist more earthquake force when you compare this wall. The another wall have number of openings. You have three windows at both the sides. Two windows and a door. Here you have three windows. So this wall cannot bear earthquake force in the direction of action. So one wall is stronger and another wall is weak wall. So you have to connect these two walls. This could be done by weaker direction of wall. This is what is said here. This allow band support wall loaded in weaker direction by wall loaded by stronger direction. How to merge this strong wall and weak wall is by providing the lintel band. What does lintel band do is it connects both the strong and weak wall. It transfers the force to strong to weak. If any force applied in this weak wall, this lintel band connects the seismic force to the strong wall. So the connection is being created through this lintel band. The small length of wooden spaces in wooden bands, steel links in RC bands. If you are using wooden bands, I have showed you and I will share you the dimensions. Are used to make straight length of wooden runners. In wooden bands, properly nailing of straight length and spacer is important. If you are using stirrups in reinforced concrete, which is similar to placing the nails in a wooden members. And wooden members has to be straight enough when you are using them. Likewise, RC band are adequate anchoring of steel link with necessary bars. So this is the dimension as given in IS4326, this is another code book. IS13828 provides the size and detail of bands. In these two code books, you can get these dimensions. The wooden bands are required at least 75 mm by 38 mm of cross section. In one direction, if it is 75, the another direction should be 38 and spacers at least 500 mm to 300 mm. This is called spacer. This is called longitudinal bar. This should be 75 into 38. This dimensions and the spacer bar in lateral direction. It should have 50 mm by 30 mm. The RC bands are used with minimum thickness of 75 mm and at least two bars of 8 mm diameter are required. So the reinforcement dia is given here. 8 mm dia bar is the minimum. The ties with the steel links at least 6 mm diameter at spacing of 150 mm centers. This is the ties. Spacing of ties should be 150 mm and you can use 8 mm dia bar for both longitudinal and transverse direction.